if you're new here and if you're not then welcome back as you can see from the title of this video we're about to get into these trippy smiley face nails they came out gorgeous okay but yeah nothing special about this video it's not sponsored by anybody this is just something that i wanted to do i actually tried to do a different design but you know i'm gonna show y'all i'm gonna talk to y'all about that later right now um you can see me just prepping the tips i didn't have the um, the size tips that i wanted uh, i did have stiletto tips but they weren't as long as i wanted them and uh i could have uh, shaped some coffin but that's just gonna take too much time so what I did was I took these full cover tips that I had and I just kind of filed the the apex off of them and I also kind of filed the surface top part of the nail like um like where I get under right here and then I go on top just so it can thin out a little bit that way when I glue it to the surface of my natural nail um, you know how when you go in and blend the, the surface with your nail of the regular tips, um, I don't really have to do that because I already thinned that out. So when I glued it, it kind of just meshed with my natural nail. I really hope that made sense. Anywho, y'all already know I'm not keeping my nails on that long. So I'm going to use this peel off base coat. Um, I already prepped my natural nail. I went over the surface. I pushed the cuticle cuticles back all of that and I do all of that because yes I don't want to keep my nails that long but I do like to keep them for like three or four days and if I don't prep my nail with this pillow face it'll come off on the same day if not the next day so yeah also if you saw how I put the pinky nail on I went really really close to the cuticle like I went down to the cuticle and then I realized that I did not want the nails to be that short so with all of the rest of the nails I kind of applied them in the middle of my nail that makes all of the rest of the nails longer than the pinky which I can tell but y'all can't really tell uh, so if y'all do decide to use this method if y'all just happen to not have tips one time um, if you just be mindful about where you place the nail at on your fingertip if you want longer nails See, you can kind of tell like um, right there that the pinky nail is shorter. So yeah, right now I'm just going to go in with my um, drill bit, my sanding man. And I'm just going to distress the surface of all of the nail tips. I'm not going to do the natural nail because I already painted the, um, the peel off base on there. So I'm just going to distress the tips. That just helps the gel adhere to the tips better. One thing I've learned since I've been using this peel off uh, base coat, I'm able to use the sets that I do as press ons because um, the nail completely comes off intact. I don't have to uh, do any damage to the nail when I take them off. Therefore, I'm able to distress the inside of the nail. And once I prep my nail, you can I can just use glue and wear them again as press ons. I haven't did it yet, but you pretty much can because they come off intact and they are pretty much press-ons when you take them off. So next I'm just using the same sanding bit and I'm just gonna pre-shape the nails. They do, they already are pre-shaped. Uh, this is how they come. But uh, I guess if I had to give it a name, this would be more like a tapered stiletto. I don't even know if that's a thing, but I want it to be I wanted it to be more skinnier, more straighter on the sides. Um, so what I did was just take some from the bottom because these if these had to have a name, I think they would be C curve stilettos um, because they're just so uh, defined. Um, they're deep. I don't know how to I don't know the word to say if you flip them over they're deep they're not like flat stilettos some people don't like to pre-shape like this because they think that it takes more time but for me I think it saves time because as long as I do the pre-shape like this and my shape is perfect before I start applying product when I apply product as long as I keep my shape once I go in and file I'm literally just fixing up small discrepancies i'm not really filing filing to get a shape because the shape is already there and i tried my best to stick to it but i you know of course you're going to have 
a little bit of discrepancies here or there. It's just for me, I think that pre-shaping them before I add product saves so much more time for me. Now I'm going in with my 8080 grit nail file and I'm doing the same thing that I did with the sanding band. Basically, it's just pre-shaping with the file, just cleaning up everything even more than I already have. So next I'm going in with this McCart Jelly Nail Polish from Amazon. I have had this for quite a while so I don't exactly know what collection it came from. It does come with a couple different colors. I don't know the numbers. I don't show the numbers. I will try my best to leave the uh, link in the description box below if you guys like this collection. You won't see me do both coats but I do do two coats of the colors on each tip. It came with two different blues and I wasn't sure which blue I wanted to use so what I did was paint a tip each blue color and then decide which one I wanted to use from there. Whichever one I didn't want to use I wiped it off and I put the next color on that tip. Okay, so originally I wanted to do a different type of design. I wanted to do kind of like the raindrop design with this Leveno Builder Gel, and it did not work out for me. So the tips looked like this once I was done using the gel as raindrops, but once I covered them, I wanted to kind of encapsulate them. It just came out like this. So I just x that idea because I don't know what I was thinking. I went over each nail with the color again, even with the raindrops, and I just continued to move on with my chippy smile design after that. This is what they looked like once I encapsulated with clear on the tips before I went ahead and did the ombre design. Now I'm just going in with my Lake Corral Poly Gel from McCart. I think it's Lake Corral. I don't know. I'll leave it in the description um, from McCart. And I'm just using that as my nude base color for my um, ombre part of the design. So I've encapsulated the tips with clear because they had that awful raindrop design that just was not working out and now I'm just going in with this to go ahead and blend it with the tip and I also put this part of the video in real time because I wanted you guys to see how I work with it no I'm not an expert but it also is not all roses and sunshine like it's not that easy to work with but again I will trade the smell of monomer for you know just a little bit of extra work any day i'm just saying um so i just wanted it to be in real time so you guys can kind of get a feel of how i work with it and i normally don't do real time because i don't i'm not an expert again and i don't want to teach the wrong practices um but i decided to just go ahead and put it in real time because i mean what can it hurt um um so no i'm not teaching you guys how to do this i'm just showing you guys how i do it since I've been working with this poly gel, I've learned that for me, it works better with the color gels when I use acetone. When I use clear to encapsulate anything or whenever I use a clear, I use alcohol because it the acetone gives the clear like a little foggy um, finish. But 
with the rest of it the colors and like the the ombre colors that i used i use acetone with that it just works better but with the clear i'll use alcohol 91 percent alcohol Now that I'm done with that part, I'm going to go in with my clear poly gel from McCart and I'm just going to encapsulate the ombre part of the design so that I don't mess it up when I go in to file.
Now I'm gonna go back in with my sanding bed and just clean up the sides uh, as far as the shape goes and even out the surface of the nail. Now I'm going in with my 5-in-1 drill bit just to clean up and seal the cuticles. So just because nothing is ever really good enough for me, I'm going in with my 8080 grip file again just to make sure that it's perfect like I like it.
child now i'm gonna go in with these buffers okay um i gave these things a good review because it's definitely a good idea but these things almost killed me as y'all can see i thought it was gonna smack me in the face <laughs> uh but yeah i took that off i did another one um i used that one and eventually that one popped off too so they just are not made well it's just a great idea i actually love the idea these are just not made well so hopefully somebody else comes out with something that's made a little bit better i don't know maybe i'll look into it Okay, so I have cleaned up, got all the powder out of all the crevices, and now I'm just going to go in with this Beatles Gel Polish. I'm just showing you guys the first one, the pink one, so you guys can see what it looks like. These are, um, this is a neon collection. I'll make sure to leave it in the description. This is not a review, so I'm not going to go through each color, um, but I did use the corresponding colors to the jelly colors on my nails, and um, this is just basically how I got the trippy smiley designs. I just used each of these colors to get a basic not circle because again they're tr supposed to be trippy so I again that, that kind of made it easier for me to just kind of splat it on there any kind of way um, that way I wouldn't have to think too much about what direction I wanted my lines to go or how squiggly they were gonna be I just kind of followed the splat that I did with this solid colors So this is what I mean by I just kind of followed the splat. It already has kind of a disoriented shape. So I just use the black to follow that. This black that I'm using is a black, just a regular black nail polish. I eventually switch over to the Vanilla paint pods that I normally use because I just needed a thicker, more, um, just a thicker consistency paint these were okay because the lines I did kind of want them to be thick but once I started doing the actual eyes and the mouths they I didn't want them to be thick I wanted them to be more uh, defined so I had to go get the Vanilla paint pot because with the nail polish it kind of spreads when you put it on and the Vanilla paint pot if you have a small enough brush your lines will stay small the paint kind of stays in place so it just gives you a smaller line so I eventually switch out to those instead of this regular polish
I wanted to add sort of a sparkly element to it, but I didn't want to add glitter. So I got this chrome powder. I will leave it in the description box because I don't know where I got it from, so I have to find it. Um, I just got this and I used the, the little paper lid to just dab some on um, a palette. And I just used some top coat to mix in there and I just used a regular brush to just kind of use that as a polish to paint over the whole nail and it's only it's just going to give it like a sparkle over it so that it won't be so dull Now I'm just going to go in with a regular top coat from Beatles and just top coat the nails to finish them off. Don't forget to wipe the sides so that you keep your shape and I also decided to go under the nail and paint the underside of the nail as well just because these nails are jelly and it's just going to give them the more uh, transparent effect so I just uh, decided to flip them over and paint under the bottom So that is pretty much it for this design. If you guys like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any upcoming videos that I have coming in the future. And I'm pretty curious, guys. Leave your comments and your questions. Let me know what you think about this design. But I also want to know, what do you guys think about this poly gel journey that I'm on? If you guys have been following me from the beginning when I did my first poly gel video to now, what do you guys think? Like, am I doing okay? And I'm asking that because I want to kind of give you tips and pointers but again I just started this so I don't want to give anybody wrong information what do you guys think you guys think I should do more in-depth videos of poly gel and how to do it and what I do let me know just leave your comments I'll see you guys next time Bye.